my second cousin is Dino Cicerelli, and he played for 20 years in the NHL. Basically, our whole family is hockey orientated. I was skating since I was like two years old, and it was pretty forceful. Like, they just wanted it to happen. And I remember I'd cry before practices. I hated it, and my dad just felt like maybe like it's gonna click and he's gonna be a good hockey player. And I was awful. I have the worst hand-eye coordination, but he still thought I could do it. It's probably funny for them to think that I would have been a hockey player, but now I'm a snowboarder. <laughs> he got to see me at the Youth Olympics when I was 15. I still remember I ended up winning the contest and it wasn't expected, like I wasn't like I was riding that great that whole year it was kind of like just like my day and it all happened and I still remember him like crying because he was he's not he's an Italian big Italian guy my first World Cup win was in 2015 in Stoneham Quebec I mean it was very emotional and kind of like a whole whirlwind of things going into it my dad passed away before in October so it was like still pretty fresh the year before at the same event, I got dead last. And my dad had watched me <laughs> get dead last. So it was like a big string of emotions. And it kind of, at that point, made me realize like I can do this, like this is very possible for me. But my dad was a really strong character. He filled the room, he always made you laugh. He always wanted people to do well. Losing my dad was kind of like a turning point for me. Just made me realize like he did so much for me and he never, never would ever go any expense he would put into my snowboarding. That's still why I do it, I still do it for him. I actually write Johnny C on my board, every board I ride, so it's like kind of doing it for him. It pushed me a lot for sure. Mikey Cicerelli and I couldn't have done it without my dad, John Cicerelli.